Baked oatmeal has more texture and believe more flavor than regular oatmeal and hands down it's one of the best ways to make your oats because it's super easy to make, it's wholesome and filling and reheats so well so it makes a quick breakfast throughout the week. Stuffed up oatmeal has creamy or mushy consistency which many people don't really like but baked oatmeal is a whole new level of breakfast oats. It combines soft and chewy and also creamy and all that in one quick bake. First let's whisk together the wet ingredients. I love adding mashed banana or applesauce so I don't have to add any oil in my recipe. Also I cut the added sugar this way so I always choose ripe spotty bananas that are naturally sweet. I want to keep things refined sugar free so I add just 2 tablespoons of maple syrup or honey to sweeten it up a bit, then 1 egg that will help bind all the ingredients together and make the oatmeal lighter, but any egg replacement like flex egg will do the work too. Some good vanilla extract to really boost the flavor and yes milk to make it creamy use any milk you drink or have on hand and whisk it all together. Now to the oats, for the best results I recommend using old fashioned rolled oats, they give really soft but chewy texture, while quick cooking oats they soak up more milk and can dry out more. Also I prefer adding a little bit of oat flour just to create that cake like texture, then cinnamon or any other spice you use in your baking, pinch of salt and baking powder to help the oatmeal rise a bit, mix it up and you're almost there, it's so easier than making oatmeal each day in a pot. Now grease your baking pan with some butter and pour the mixture in. I use 18 square pan because it makes nice and thick oatmeal slices. As you can see it's quite liquid at this point but the oats will absorb all that milk as it bakes. This is a base version of baked oatmeal and here you can really add any toppings you prefer, fruits, crunchy nuts or even some chocolate. I love fresh blueberries, they're so juicy and delicious in the oven. And I don't mix in my blueberries, just spread them on top, they'll sink into the mixture. And in the oven it goes and bake for 35 to 40 minutes, it's done when edges are golden brown and it pulls away from the sides just like that. See there's no stirring here, the oven does all the work for you. Anyway let it cool and set in the pan for 10 minutes, it will be easier to cut and serve into portions. Unlike any other oatmeal, this bake holds its shape really well so it can be sliced like breakfast cake. Top layer is crisp and bursts with blueberries but oats are really tender and soft in the middle. So many texture. I think this oven method is so great. This is delicious on its own but I always add some protein on the side like Greek yogurt or creamy peanut butter just to make it more substantial. And it's even more better this way. Baked oatmeal tastes as great either cold or warm, it's creamy and soft but deliciously chewy from the oats. It's so easy and you cook once and reheat for a quick breakfast during the week. And one slice of this oatmeal will keep you full until lunchtime. But if you're craving something crunchy for breakfast make this delicious healthy granola. It's a quick make ahead breakfast and I share one tip how to make granola even more crunchy. Check out that recipe now. Thank you so much for watching, see you in another video. Stay healthy, stay happy.